All right, this is second grade, module five, lesson 19, and students are just continuing to practice uh, adding and subtracting using a variety of solution methods. Sometimes it's going to be the standard algorithm, sometimes it's going to be some other number sense based technique, uh, depending on the numbers, and students are going to look at the problem and choose the method that is the most efficient. So let's get started. So on this problem, uh, I just pre-made the uh, place value chart, and you can see that, okay, well, if we're going to do this, and we know that you need, so I modeled 519, 342, and so when you add, you can see we've got 9 plus 2 more is 11, so we, we remember that if you have 10, that means you can bundle them together for a single dot in the next column over. And so we have one dot left, there's that one. And then we can look and we have one plus four plus this new one here, so that's six. And then we have, let's see, five up here plus three down here, so that gives us eight. So our, our answer is 861. Now if we want, let's put that away. And another way we can do it is we could use just the vertical method. So the vertical method would be 519 plus 342. There's our standard algorithm. And notice I lined up our columns nice and neat. Nine ones plus two ones is 11. So that's one left over in the ones column. And we can bundle 10 of those together for a dot in the tens column. And then we have 10 plus 4 tens plus 1 ten. That equals 6 tens. And then we have 5 ones, um, five hundreds plus 3 hundreds gives us 8 hundreds. So there's uh, another method, and that's the, whoa, that's the, the, um, what is it called? Oh, vertical method. So I'm going to move that over here. And let's see, what, what else could we do? Well, there's... Another method that we could do, we could do the arrow method if you really wanted to. We could do, let's see, 519, and we could add 300. That gives us 819. Then we can add 40, and that gives us 859. And then we can add two more and that could give us 861. And we know we added the correct amount because 300 plus 40 plus 2 is the 342. So we've got a variety of different methods, and they all, of course, lead to the same answer of 861. Now we're going to do some subtraction, and same kind of story. We, have, we could do the vertical method. Um, we could do 904 minus 395, and we can see that we have four ones, and we need to take away five. That's not enough, so we're going to go and regroup, or bundle, unbundle, I mean. So we're going to go all the way to the hundreds column, unbundle 100, so that leaves eight hundreds, and that gives us ten tens. But then we're going to unbundle one of those tens, leaving nine tens. That's going to give us ten ones for a total of fourteen ones, because we already had four of them. So now we have enough ones to subtract five. So fourteen take away five gives us nine. And then we have nine tens take away nine tens gives us zero. And then we have eight hundreds take away three hundreds gives us Five hundred. So there's our answer. And let's put this together. And we can move this over here. So one answer is, of course, 509. Let's see if we could do a different way. Um, oh, another way we could do is we could, if we see it, I mean, you could think of that tape diagram idea. And you could say, well, here's 904. And you can say, here's 395. And here's our gap right there, and that's our answer. But that's kind of a yucky problem to do, that 904 
minus 395. So a different way is we, since 395 is really close to a landmark number, it's really close to 400. So let's just add an extra 5 and add an extra 5 to both tapes. So our gap is still the same, but instead of doing 904 minus 395, our problem becomes 900 and 9 take away 400, which is far simpler problem to do. So we can shrink that and put it over here and I don't know, do we have any other methods that we could do? Well, you know, another method similar to that tape diagram method is uh, we could, if we wanted to, you could think of it as 904 minus 395 and another way to think of it is you could say, well, let's just add 5 to both numbers and so that gives us 909 minus 400. And then when you subtract, you get 509. So you got a, it's the same kind of system as over here, just written in a different notation. And so there's three different ways that all show that our answer is 509. And that wraps up. Lesson 19 of Grade 2, Module 5, where students are just using a variety of solution methods to add or subtract.